Hi, everybody. Let's get a quick energy um, update. This is like going to be a late reading here. Heartache over what you no longer have. So some of you, you could have experienced a recent breakup. Or you're dealing with some kind of heartache right now. This could represent you going through um, a healing, you know, from Chiron and stuff like that. How astrology is right now. It's like bringing up stuff that really hurts you. So you could be experiencing a loss right now or feeling sad, upset, abandoned, depressed. Maybe a lot of you are feeling anxiety, fears right now. You have the fox. Shrewdness and resourcefulness, especially in business. Maybe you, you were dealing with someone that was making you feel less or making you feel unworthy and they hurt you. They stabbed you in the back. This could have been someone you worked with that you trusted. Elephant, a long journey, either physical or mental, will leave you wiser in the end. So whatever this is that happened and who you dealed with here, this was all part of your journey and it's making you stronger. Shark, take care or there will be a loss of material wealth. And I feel like leaving the situation was protecting you from a loss, especially with your finances here. Yeah, it might have hurt you, you know, at first to find out that this was happening to you, but it was protecting you from an extreme loss. Staff, you will be taken care of in difficult times, especially financially and emotionally here. Diamond, you'll be receiving or giving a precious gift. Wow. Some of you, since this is Mercury retrograde, there could be someone coming back into your life that hurt you, stabbed you in the back, deceived you in some kind of way, that is going to be giving you a gift. And if this is your energy, you're going to be giving somebody else a gift. Chinese ear of the dog, Scorpio, getting together with friends. This took a long ass time to be with these people or to trust again or to have friends or maybe to get out of your comfort zone. Maybe you've just been doing your own thing, being alone, and now you're going to be getting together with friends. You've been away for a while. Skull, hidden secrets can harm you. I feel like a lot of you, you've been worried about your finances, your career, your emotions are all over the place, especially in your head, your crown chakra your eyes, your teeth, your mouth. Like I know for me, I was dealing with all this kind of shit, especially on the left side. And it's like all the energy is up here, like thinking all these things, worries, fears, tense situations. You know, and it, and it does harm you, you know? So it's like getting out of that energy is gonna help you heal. Yeah, it had to do with something that was a broken wish it was a wish that wasn't granted. Something about August. Now, this is very significant because if you're watching this in real time, this gift that you're receiving or giving, depending on who, who you are in this situation, that's happening right now. Yeah. And happiness and well-being is coming from this. And there will be a success with whatever you lost or secrets that were hidden from you. There is a success here that's coming. Problems to be resolved, and they will be. A new job and career is going to uh, help you solve problems that you were experiencing here, okay? That could have been a wish that wasn't granted. Now you're going to start a new job or career in August. Again, you have happiness and a victory here. Could be connected to a fair woman. Dealings or relationship with a woman with blonde, gray, or white hair. <coughs> let's see what else is happening love hmm. you have love here yeah don't let your pride and ego get in the way of love here love is is right here it's happening for you some of you you're moving you're relocating you're packing up your stuff, you're heading out, and you're moving in with somebody could be. Or you're moving towards someone that's loyal in your life, Chinese ear of the dog again, 
And it looks like the same dogs, does it? Not look like the same dogs on this card. Like a blonde, white, golden one and a black one, kind of. Does that not look like the same dogs? This could be two people in your life that are very loyal to you. And maybe the, something with the winter. And you're going to be getting clarity here. And blessings coming your way. Yeah, somebody wants to say they're sorry. And they want to bounce the situation with you. So it's up to you. But yeah, this is a life partner here. Wow. There could be distance between you and this person or something with world travel here. Like you could be going on a big trip or moving overseas. There's an obstacle ahead and you left a, quite an impression on this person. Let's find out who is this person, this life partner. Who is this? Who is this person? Okay. This is someone that you uh, aren't talking to right now or you have a standstill between you and this person. There was an argument or there was a fight, but these people aren't fighting. There's just waiting here. And this is connected to your wish. This is someone you've been waiting for. This is like your wish come true. Yeah, this person's coming. What about I'm sorry? Oh yeah, look, it wants to be over here. This could be a, a fire sign. Leo Sagittarius Aries. This could be someone that's younger than you. Or this is someone that's coming in very quickly, like rushing in. And again, this was August. So if you're watching this in real time, this is happening within the next five days, five to nine days. Or the fifth or the ninth could be significant. Yeah, this person's exhausted. They're done. They finally let go of everything that was bothering them. And they're choosing this new beginning with you. Yeah, they want to tell you they're sorry. Literally, this card means I'm sorry. They want to apologize to you. They want your forgiveness. They could be an earth sign. This person is definitely youthful, younger. They have a youthful energy here. Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. So what else is happening for everybody? Well, actually, who's this fair woman? Let's ask about that. Okay, this fair woman is someone that is involved with your money. It's also someone that needs to leave a comfort zone to get to you. Maybe in the next four weeks, you're going to meet this fair woman or four days. Hanged man. This could be someone that's going to help you after a time where you've been sacrificing and doing for everybody else. And not and like whatever this was that you were experiencing, this is why the elephant's here. Because a long journey, either physical or mental, will leave you wiser in the end. See how he has enlightenment about this? You got enlightenment about this situation and now you're receiving help. There is the Six of Wands in reverse and the Page of Wands in reverse. This person feels like they lost their chance with you, whoever this is. And that's why they... they, they <laughs> uh, this is someone that is already prepared to be rejected by you. This is somebody that wants to commit to you. But they, they're already preparing themselves for the worst. Like, this person's going to reject me. They're already prepared. Yeah, because for some reason... Whoever this was, if this is that, if this is this person, they're already preparing for you to blow them off and tell them off. Because this was a lose-lose situation here. Nobody won here. If this was something, you know, a competition, yeah, it could be Virgo, Scorpio, Chinese era snake, Gemini, something with the winter again, the snow. But yeah, there's definitely something where nobody won here. And they're definitely Aquarius is here as well, but you looked within for the answer and this person did too. And if this is a man coming into your life, he's the emperor now. So this is someone that did their work. They learned a lot from the situation and they're ready now for a commitment here. And this is peeking out. Sagittarius and Queen of Cups. Yeah, because you're very emotionally stable and secure. You're healed, you're happy. You're living your best life. And if you don't feel like this right now, you will go into this energy. This also could be this fair woman introducing you to this man. 
as well with this. Let's see what the fairies want to say. Your wish is granted. I, that's all we needed. Your wish is granted here. And this one right here is poking out. Yeah, be yourself. Vegetarian, maybe you're changing the way you eat. New way of eating gives you more energy. Greater health, clarity, and stronger manifestation abilities. A lot of you, you're worried about your health. I feel like that's changing. You're recovering through something because of something with your lifestyle, your diet is changing. Your overall health and well-being is changing. You're going through a transformation here. Yeah, patience, please. You just have to be a little bit of patient. That's all. That's all. What you're asking for is coming about. Have patience as there's unseen factors that need to occur for, especially with your health and well-being because your wish is being granted. So if your wish was to be uh, healthier, not have any pain, to, to find out what to eat, what not to eat, you know, how do I fix this in my body? How do I feel better? My mental health, whatever it is, you're getting the answers and you will feel better. And it's going to allow you to be your most authentic self here with this, which is very beautiful. Honestly, like this is really, really beautiful here. Let's find out love. Any updates with love, which we already got a few things, but. Girl talk. Time with friends, moving on, happily single, living in the moment, having fun. Very nice. Lightning. Wow, sudden change, shocking news, surprise epiphany, upheaval, and transformation here. You don't expect something about to happen coming into your life. Not showing true feelings, could be a Gemini here. Hiding how they feel about you. Yeah, this person's hiding how they truly feel about you. This person's in love with you, by the way. Like, beyond. Definitely have air placements. Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. A lot of Gemini here. Scorpio, um, Aquarius. But yeah, unconditional love. This person loves you. And you love yourself. That's why you're attracting this. This is what's happening here. Self-love, oneness. That's why you don't care about anything. You're not focused on whatever you don't have. You're focused on what you have. And you're making it stronger. And you're grateful. Yeah, and this is attracting a soulmate. This person's your soulmate. Oh my gosh, are you serious? Welcoming love, meeting the one heart with the key. Open your heart. Getting together, perfect. A lot of you, you were dealing with a lot of snakes out there. You know, but you finally surrendered and you let go. And now you're attracting this love. Don't be scared because this person actually is a very good person here. This person is very loving here. Very loving, very beautiful here. <clears throat> yeah, and you've been hurt before. Some of you, you're dealing with someone from the past, which makes sense because we're in Mercury retrograde. Um, that hurts you. You're avoiding this person, avoiding a call. You set boundaries. This could have been someone that was narcissistic. But have faith, love is coming. A surprise invitation or meeting. And it's going to be shocking. So get ready for that. And let's pull one of my homemade cards right here. Just one. Okay, that's good. Love yourself. It's a lot about loving yourself. Time to love yourself first. Self-care is needed at this time. Let go of what no longer is serving you. Your higher self is trying to communicate with you. Maybe in a codependent relationship, release the past or let go of the past. Get some rest, relax. Take a bath, calm your mind, cleanse your energy. You could be an empath or just very sensitive, which we had that card. Protect your energy, especially if you're dealing with the Gemini or Chinese or the snake. But that's it. That's all I have for you. I hope you enjoyed this little reading and I'll see you in the next one. Namaste. Love and light.